watching UK Gold, and it's time to check into the Crossroads Motel now. You've been sleeping all right? Yeah. It's because I've got no makeup on. It makes my eyes go all piggy. You don't start. I've been through all that before. Anyway, you've got lovely eyes. You still had your light on at 11 o'clock. What were you doing? I'm like, mm, I just rubbed this on. There's left just the crumbs. Is there any more? Yeah, in the cupboard. We've got this um, poetry competition in English. I really want to win, though. The prize is a book token. Mm, that's nice. What's yours about? Stupid lighthouse. Starfish the best title, but I've got a better chance of winning if I do something a bit different. She always goes top in English. Very competitive all of a sudden. Yeah, well, what does she need with the book token? She's loaded, isn't she? Let's have a look at it then. What? Let's have a look in the film. No, it's rubbish. Oh, I'm sure it isn't. It's right, you lovely poems when you're little. Go on, read it to me. <sighs> Go on. All right then, but you better not laugh. Rams on. Right. A lighthouse to me should be tall and white, with a lamp that shines incredibly bright. Saves a lot of ships in the middle of the night. I haven't done any more of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, you're not going, are you? We're only into Birmingham. Oh. Well, do you want something? Well, no, just for a moment. I thought... I ah, thought... you thought I was going. Good. Well, after what you said yesterday... No, don't worry. I won't go without telling you. Oh, how did you get on at dinner at Lady Barnard? Oh, Lodge? well, they were very nice to me. In fact, they quite overwhelmed me. They didn't talk you out of it? Well, no, not exactly, but, um... I agreed to go away for three weeks' holiday to think it over. Oh, well, have you got somewhere in mind? Anywhere, as long as it's nowhere near a telephone. <laughs> uh, do you think you can manage to like it back? Three weeks? Oh, yes, no problem. No, 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 I meant till I get back from Birmingham. Oh, yes. Are you sure of your route? Oh, yeah, I'm going the same way as last time. Well, you could save half an hour, you know. Forget it, Darby, just forget it. Okay? Have you checked the car? Yes, it's still got an engine and four wheels. And, hey, I thought you told me that was going to be blue. It was going to be blue. I've been cheated. <laughs> and I want to see him the moment he gets in, right? Yeah, OK. Hey, oh, somebody's fine, John. Oh, Danny. Danny, I suppose. Oh, you've heard, haven't you? Oh, I suppose it's all over the motel by now. That boy, he will never learn. What? I asked Lorraine to keep quiet about it. Do you know what these girls are like? Chatter, chatter, chatter. Well, come on, what's going on? Oh, Daniel's going to look awfully silly, I can tell you that. Dear, oh dear. Lisa, where's so many mind? Will she be in the picture, please? Well, he's only going to give Lorraine's job to his girlfriend. Oh, not that fair, is it? What can you have been thinking of? It's obvious what he was thinking of. Well, you've got to unmarry cheek, haven't you? I could be on a murder charge, you know, if I'd seen him last night. Well, I'm very glad I'm not around today to see it. Yes, and you'd better be on your way, my girl. Oh, is everything all right in the kitchen? I mean, Chef's not going to have a little tantrum, and, and Paul's not going to attack someone with a meat cleaver. <sighs> Don't worry, Jill, they all know what they're doing. <laughs> Good. And if Paul has one of his little friends, just send him outside for a ciggy, OK? <laughs> Give my love to Catherine, please. Be yeah. careful. Bye-bye. Bye. One of his little friends. Hmm? What with Paul, Charlie Mycroft and Danny, I am beginning to wonder if there are any normal, ordinary young men left in this country. <laughs> oh, what a pretty shade of pink. What? It's nice, isn't it? Yes. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. Rain's been rude. No, oh, she's always at that. Come on, turn around again. Mm. Has she been sacked or something? No, of course not. Mm. Are you sure I can claim this on expenses? Yeah, of sure. course. It's your uniform. It is? Yep. Mm. Well, Lorraine resents me. She resents me being here. Well, I'm hardly surprised. Well, are you sure she's not been sacked? Absolutely. Well, why does she keep snarling at me, then? Because she's a silly cow. 
But Jill scowled at me when I came in. Oh. Oh, well, that explains this. What? Mrs. Chance wants to see you as soon as possible. Well, hadn't you better get on and see her then? In my own good time. Oh, I knew something awful had happened today. The Chihuahua was sick in the night. That's always a sign of something. Oh, don't be silly, Fiona. It's true. Anyway, I'm not sure I can do this. Lorraine's got all sorts of diplomas and things. I know. She recites them to me once a week. I it's going to be like this all the time. Oh, Lorraine's going at once a week, and I can cope with Jill, so just, uh, just you concentrate on keeping the brass happy. Eh? There. What do you think? Look all right once it's taped up. You sure you don't mind? No, it won't take me a minute. I'll pay you mind. No, you won't. We can won't have any copies are you going to need. Well, it's difficult to say. This list is years out of date. I mean, he snuffed it. And they've gone to Australia. And they've gone over to Elvis Presley. About 70. 70? Can he manage that? Let's see what I can do. Can they handle 70 in the functions room, Mr. Darby? We can cater for 200, Mrs. Tardy Bigham. We've done so on many a glittering occasion. Oh, good. Bit more class than the Legion, I must say. Have they got one of their mirror balls? A what? You know, they've got a lot of little mirrors on it, and it goes round and round. I haven't seen one of those in years. I don't think I've ever seen one. The last time was Stamford Brook Barracks Signals, 1936. Well, they've got one in come down soon. Well, we haven't got one. Well, perhaps if I asked. You know, made a special request, as it were. Uh, well, I wouldn't go asking Mrs. Chan. Well, she's not right bad, Moot. Oh, come on now. She's under a lot of pressure. She's got a knife into young Daniel. That's what it is, just because he won't count out to her. But just bringing in his girlfriend like that. It was a right slap in the face for Lorraine. I want a face slap in that one. I've often said so. It's nothing to do with either of you. I'm sure Mrs. Chance is quite capable of sorting it out herself. Morning. Yes, I suppose it is just. I sent for you at half past eight. Well, I've been very busy. What do you want? I want to know what you think you're doing, appointing your girlfriend. Doing my job, that's all. You'd no right. Yes, I had. She's quite unsuitable. Why? <laughs> There's nothing about the job. Well, neither did Lorraine when she first started. There must be hundreds of people with more experience than your girlfriend. Well, there must be hundreds of experienced barmen, but I notice that you've appointed Roy Lambert. And we know nothing about her. Oh, I do. I know rather a lot. Don't be smutty. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, this has got to be an improvement on, on some of the people we've had over there. You ought to know that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, at least Fiona can be trusted not to get sloshed and fall in the pool. I'm not going to walk in with you. Oh, good. Just send her over to me and I will explain that there's been a mistake. Well, it's you who've made the mistake if you think that the leisure centre has anything to do with you. Don't be so cheeky. I wish you'd stop giving me orders. I am Madam's deputy, not you. Mr Lancaster has made it quite clear to me that... Well, he hasn't made it clear to me, and until he does, Fiona stays, all right? Hello, look. Haven't I seen you round here sometime before? Yes, I'm Fiona. Fiona Harding. Not Lynn Harding's girl. That's right. Well, I'm blown. I must have bought a million chickens off him in my time. How is the old crook? That's just what he called you. He never did. He did when I told him I was going to work for you. I didn't know he was going to work for me. Yes, the leisure centre. What, you checking over from Lorraine? That's right. Well, oh, but you keep your eyes open. You might be able to give your old man a few tips on how to run a business. <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. Yes, I'll tell him that. Yeah. You know, it's got a lot of little mirrors on it and it goes round and round in the ceiling. Yes, I do know what you mean, Mr. Tyler, but we haven't had one of those since, well, since my mother's time. Well, everyone will be expecting one. Well, they're going to be disappointed then, aren't they? Oh, well, Tommy, could I have a word? Yes, yes, of course you can. They're ever so romantic, them little lights. They make Marron look ten years younger. It's Daniel. Oh, I might have guessed. You know Lorraine's leaving? Yes, I've uh, just uh, met her replacement. Ah. Fiona's the girl to bring the punters in. 
She's a very attractive girl, is Fiona. She's very, very attractive. And she understands what it's all about. Yeah, I'm sure she does. Not one of your liberated types. No. Except when it matters, eh? <laughs> The thing is, Tommy, mm. Daniel has gone ahead and appointed her without reference to anyone. Really? Well, perhaps I've misjudged him. And she's totally unsuitable. Why, what's wrong with her? Well, she's got no qualifications. Qualifications? To do a bit of limbering up with the, with the housewives' exercises. Tommy, there's more to it than that. Yes, I know, but she'll pick that up. I know her dad. Oh. Well, I mean, apart from anything else, there'll be... No, all the time. What? No. Well, she is his girlfriend. Is she? That's the only reason he appointed her. Well, well, what a little tinker he is. I hope you don't approve. Jill, she's a nice, healthy-looking girl. She's what the customers want to see. Well, I've told him that she's got to go. Oh, I don't think so. We'll give her a chance, at least. Tommy... I mean, a few days ago, you told me that you were relying on me. Oh, and I am, Jill. I am. Well, I need your support. Now, don't worry, Jill. Don't worry. You'll manage. In any case, Adam's coming back next week, isn't he? What time was it? Eight o'clock. Um, about eight. Look, give it to me. Hello, Kath. Now, listen, by our reckoning, Diane should have got to you two hours ago. I'm sure I can't stay, but I've yes. got to speed up, please. Yeah. Oh, they found that bloke from Spark Hill, picked him uh -huh. up at Fish Guard. Bye, darling. Bye, Mr. Lancaster. Yes. All right. Well, give us a ring as soon as she gets to you. Yes. Goodbye. She hasn't even got there yet. What? Well, she must have broken down somewhere. Well, Kath will give us a ring as soon as she arrives. Hmm, I just hope she turns up for work tomorrow. How did it go? Oh, Danny got away with us as usual. That's always been his trouble. <laughs> I think I'll give him enough rope. Maybe he'll lose. Mm. My trouble is I'm torn. One half of me wants to see it happen, and the other half always wants to rush in and save him. Oh, don't worry. It's one of life's survivors. Yeah, one of the few qualities he inherited from his father. Stock taking, then lunchtime in the rally bar. It's more than flesh and blood can stand. You want to try trading a mop around here when your valley coast veins are playing you. I'll be glad when this new barman arrives. You're not the only one. Young Anne-Marie's feet haven't touched the ground for days. Yes. She goes all pink and fluttery when you mention him. I think she was quite taken. Oh, she was that lover about two years ago. Sorry? She used to live with him down the shop. You mean that's her ex fiance That's right, lover. This place is extraordinary, isn't it? I had no inkling when I came here. Oh, it's known for it locally. I mean... Everywhere you turn. You want to hear the way they snigger at you in the village when you say you work here? I've had some funny looks in the pub, I must admit. Well, when you've lived here as long as I have, love, you could tell some tales about this place. Kidnap, blackmail, arson. Makes this lot look like babes in the wood. Do you think anne has got plans for him? Of course she has. Why else would she fix him up with a job here? Hi. Um... We've just been talking about the new staff changes here. Oh? You mean Fiona? Yes. Fantastic news, isn't it? I mean, she's awfully nice. Well, she would be, wouldn't she? Not that Lorraine wasn't. <laughs> Isn't. Well, I don't think it's very fair. Lots of people could do that job. So why should she get it just because she's Daniel's girlfriend? Hiya. Hello, love. There's no one in the shop, is there? No, there isn't anyone. Good. Where's Jason? Um, he's over at Spiders playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, hope he won't be too long. Tea'll be ready at six. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're in a good mood. Yep. What's happened? Been let off mass for the next twelve months. No. What's that? It's a book token, isn't it? I won it. Oh, the poetry competition. Yeah. Oh, Beth, that's great. Yeah, and guess what? Mrs. Sharp said that showed great sensitivity for a 15-year-old. Does he think he'll do all right in your exams, then? Well, I don't know. That's totally different, isn't it? That's comprehension and stuff. It ain't writing poems. You'd better start working at it, then, hadn't you, if you want a decent job? Doesn't make any difference, Mum. You don't get a decent job whether you've got one exam or 300 mm. of him. 
But it helps, though, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. Anyway, have you decided what you want to do? I don't know. I still want to do beauty therapy, but I don't reckon I'll pass chemistry in a million years. What's the careers officer say? Oh, he's useless. He just says be a nanny or a dental receptionist. You better start getting some ideas. Otherwise, you'll end up helping me in the shop. Do you want me to lay the table, then? Oh, you are in a good mood. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, we... I know Sunday night's taking for Sparko won't get you to Monte Carlo, but fish guard, for heaven's sake. Will you get the money back? Oh, we made that. Put it down to experience. And has Nicola decided where she's going yet? Not that I know of. I still don't know what was wrong with Sissy's place. I'd have jumped at it myself. Oh, that reminds me. We must fix something up for ourselves before long. And Mrs. Chance, how's she bearing up under the strain? Joe, oh, she's all right, one crisis after another. But she thrives on it. I hear she's had a lot of personal problems recently. Oh, they've all had a lot of personal problems. Why should she issue a brochure with that place? Who's been where, though? Why, Joe? Young Daniel's coming to his own. Really? Debbie keeps going on about how good-looking he is. Hmm. There's obviously more to that boy than meets the eye. She says he's got a bit of go in him. And she's usually a good judge of character. First time that vacancy came up in the leisure centre, he fills it the same day. None of this messing about. That sounds very positive. Was it a decent choice? Oh, I'd say vast improvement. Who is it? Bernard in school. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, you know something I don't? Nothing. It's just that I know one person who's going to be none too delighted by that choice. Well, she's got all the credentials a young girl needs to run a health bar. That's good enough for me. So what did you say? I just told her that I'd hired you and that was that. So I'm all right? Absolutely fireproof. Oh, you are clever. It's not just down to me. Mm. You made quite an impression on Bomber, apparently. Mad keen to have you working here. I did my best to be nice to him. I do my best to be nice to everybody. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Fiona. <coughs> I'm ever so glad you're coming to work here. Oh, thank you. Shouldn't you be behind the bar? No, the blessed man is on. I'm off duty. Poor old Charlie. You always seem to be on. I know. You should have seen me at lunchtime. There were four of us, all silent, all staring into the middle of the room. It was like a morgue. Well, it's not much livelier now, is it? Shall we zip into town? In a minute. Let me finish my drink. Has anybody seen Mrs. Chance? Well, she left about half an hour ago. Oh, she isn't at home. Did she say where she was going? No. Yeah. She's probably poking her nose into somebody else's business somewhere. No, but don't be flippant. This is serious. Come on, Darb. Surely it can wait till tomorrow. Oh, I've just had a phone call from the police. Why? What do they want? The Diane. She didn't get the cats. She's had an accident. You're watching UK Gold. In a moment, we cross the pond for Dynasty, so stay with us.